Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to be doing a video of my pet supplies organization for July 2015. So it is going to change a tiny bit um, in a couple of weeks probably because I'm planning on getting a hamster. Um, all my hamster stuff right now is in the basement and I haven't brought it upstairs into my room yet. But once I do bring it upstairs, not much is going to change. I'm probably just going to have an extra drawer or two of supplies, and it's not really worth waiting for. So most of my pet supplies is for the rabbits because they do require a lot more supplies than the gerbil or the uh, future hamster. So anyways, let's jump right into it. Up here on top of the rabbit cage, you can see just right on top, I do keep a couple of things uh, just for easy access. I actually, this isn't supposed to be there, I meant to throw that away. But the few things that I keep up here, this is the container I use for bunny pellets. Um, the Oxbow Essentials Rabbit Food. There is a 10 pound bag in here right now that just I just got yesterday. Um, this container was from a bunch of cheese balls because I had a party thing and cheese balls. Of course you need a bucket of cheese balls for a party. So I finished it off, cleaned it out, and now I put bunny pellets inside. And there is an eighth cup scoop in there. And the bunnies get a quarter cup of pellets a day. Right here is just an empty container. Um, I'm planning on making some homemade treats, so I just took that out so that I can use it to store them. I keep the bunny harnesses on top so that I can just grab them and put them right on the bunnies before taking them outside. And then these are the veggie bowls. Um, obviously right now there's two of them because I am uh, fostering a bunny named Wallace. You can learn more about in my last vlog video. But yeah, there's the two veggie bowls. Over on the top shelf of this uh, shelving unit, it's kind of really messy, especially right here. Um, none of that is bunny stuff, it's just my stuff that I haven't found a place for yet. But up on the top shelf I have some small pet things. Um, the carrier that I use for my rabbits is right there. This is, the purple box has some treats in it, and the blue bin has actually cat toys in it. Um, my cat really doesn't play with toys, but we are planning on getting another cat soon. I have an extra ramp for the gerbil cage and the gerbil carrier there. So the majority of the pet supplies that I have in my room right now are kept in this big armoire. Um, this came with my bedroom set and I'm very happy that it did because I love it. And it holds so much stuff in it. <laughs> so um, just first right here in front of it I have the garbage can and also this big container that I got at Walmart that stores um, Timothy Hay pellets. I free feed my rabbits Timothy Hay pellets because um, both of them are really picky with hay and it's hard to get them to eat enough hay but they love the pellets. They're just 100% crushed Timothy Hay and they come in 50 pound bags because they're sold for horses so I just keep them in that container. Anyways, um, I use the entire wardrobe part of it as well as the top drawer so that's all I will be showing you. In the drawer I just have bunny toys. I have so many bunny toys, um, you can almost not reach the bottom. I have a lot of toys for them that I've collected over the past couple of years. Um, most of them I got, I stocked up on clearance, stuff like that. Some of them I haven't opened yet. Yeah, sorry it's kind of dark over here. My light is, one of the bulbs is out and stuff like that. It, I just don't have good lighting in here. But anyways, I keep some of the bigger things over here. Here's a paper bag for filling with hay and treats. They love when I do that. Um, some random treat holders. Some hanging toys. Big jingly balls. We have some little chews. Um, this is supposed to be for a hamster or a mouse, but I really don't see how any animal could fit through that. Um, so I was thinking I could use it for the rabbits, like stuff it with treats and hay or something like that. So that's why it's in here. Yep, lots of toys. I'm not going to go through all of them, but yeah. Just an overview. Cardboard pieces, all kinds of stuff. And then once we go into the wardrobe, which you can almost see the reflection of my room in it, 
open the doors and we've got huge shelves full of stuff. I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, again, sorry for the horrible lighting. I'm actually going to go bring a lamp over right now so that I can try and make it look a little bit better. So I've added this little bendable lamp to try and improve the lighting situation a bit. Hopefully that'll help. Anyways, up on the top shelf we have this container of um, connectors for MIC grids. Um, this little hidey house for the gerbils. It was the first one I ever had for my first set of gerbils, so I keep it for memories. Um, I have some extra food containers, hamster food that I had left over from when I had hamsters. Um, that bin just has a bendy bridge and a fold up tunnel for the rabbits. I'm not going to take it out and show you. Um, there's an extra container that I used to use for rabbit food, but it was too small for the 10 pound bag. That red thing has a bunch of old hamster and gerbil treats that I never even use anymore. I'll probably throw them all away because they're pretty old. And in this container is just, um, it says dirty laundry on it. That's just a brand of shoes. Um, but it's a shoe box that I keep all of the, uh, emergency care supplies and stuff in. It's like the first aid kit. On this shelf, we have some spare corner litter boxes because I don't really use them that much, but sometimes I do. Um, we have this bag of uh, wood stove pellets um, that I use as rabbit litter. It's the exact same thing as getting feline pine litter, except it's a lot cheaper. And then I have a bag of hay. We have an extra grass mat, some extra storage bins that are folded up. Um, there's some fleece blankets in the back as well as a tunnel for the gerbil. We have a stuffed rabbit that the bunnies um, sometimes get in the cage and they like to snuggle with it, especially in the winter. We have a spare um, pad for the bottom of the bunnies fold up house thing. And this um, toy that I showed in my last pet co haul. And I just have it still in the box there. I'm just going to quick go through what I have on the bottom two shelves and then I'm going to pull out all of the bins individually to show you. So on the third shelf down I have these two bins of cleaning supplies, this water jug that I use um, to fill up the water bottles and bowls. It's a lot easier to just fill this up and bring it in my room to fill them. And then I have that bin behind it has gerbil toys and the one next to that has uh, like rabbit food and treats and stuff. The bottom shelf has um, the bag from the rabbit food that I keep just to, I don't know, for reference I guess. And then I have a plastic bin of spare food bowls and stuff like that. I have a bin of water bottles and water bottle hangers. And then I have a bin of grooming supplies and some other random little things. I have a container of the rabbit's litter that's a lot easier to carry over to the litter boxes than the big bag is. So I like to keep the cleaning supplies in these small plastic bins so that it's easier to carry them over um, when I want to clean the cages, but in this purple one uh, I have a little mini broom and dustpan, a corner litter scoop, I have a towel just for wiping up um, after like spraying a cleaning solution on something some little uh, bags for emptying litter boxes, a toothbrush for scrubbing in corners, and some little face masks. And then, let me put all that back. In the blue container, I have some sprays. So this one is a pet odor neutralizer. It's mostly like for the air and fabric. This one is flea and tick spray. Um, when I brought Wallace into the house, he had really bad fleas and ticks. So I sprayed this around everything that he was near and um, before I got rid of, or while I was getting rid of the ticks, I actually did, I mean the fleas and ticks, he had medicine on him to get rid of them, but this was just in case. And then I also have some pet stain, odor, and urine remover. Uh, the buddies like to pee on my bed, so I've kind of blocked them off from it, but when they do get up there, <laughs> I use this to clean off the mattresses and stuff. Um, some baby wipes that I use for cleaning up small spills and paper towels. So I've moved over here by Wallace for right now. But anyways, um, this is the bin with the gerbil toys in it. Um, let's see, first, this little house was Olaf's and it was his favorite. He loved it, as you can see, he destroyed it, especially around the back. Um, I don't give this to any of the pets, I just still have it because um, in memory of little Olaf, 
then Simon's wheel, which he doesn't use anymore because he is old and it takes up too much space. We have some various dog chews. Let's see what other dog chews we have. Simon loves dog chews, um, and they're safe depending on the ingredients. All of these that I have are safe for gerbils. So, yeah, this is a greenies. He loves greenies. We have some toilet paper rolls, which he loves. We have a bunch of cheesy chews. I think I have like three or four packs in here. Um, we have some wooden tunnels that he likes to play with. We have a couple of kebabs. And then we have just a bunch of these various chews. Here's another kebab. A bunch of various wood and loofah chews. There's another greenie. So yeah, that's what we have for Simon. This bin has like bunny food and stuff in it and you can tell that Wallace knows that. Um, so yeah, let's see. This is a mixed bag of all of the herb mixes that I have. And this is a bunch of apple tree leaves. We have the box of apple twigs. We have some critical care. Um, this is an open bag and the little slip that the vet gave me with information on it. We have some oat sprays, some rosemary, this grass growing kit, these unopened treats, there's just syringes for the critical care, um, some homemade treats, an unopened herb mix, um, a few various store-bought treats in here this herb mix thing. We have some hay cubes and this is the food that Bear was on when I got him that I switched him over from to Oxbow and I'm not sure why I still have it but I do. What's it like to be the one who waited long enough to see the day that I could feel again? I'm coming for This bin just has food bowls and stuff, so we've got this um, hay bin thing, some of these crock food bowls that, there's an example of what they look like. I use them for water and stuff sometimes. We have some pieces for those. Um, this little teacup thing, some food scoops. Um, these little bottles from Bear's Medications, I'm not sure why I saved them, but I did. Ceramic bowls, this little holder thing that I don't really use because the bunnies just knock it over. Um, some glass bowls, little tiny hamster and gerbil food bowls. And this really cute little heart-shaped heart -shaped dish that I love, that I use for the bunnies sometimes. This bin has water bottles and holders. Um, I have a lot. A lot of the water bottles that I have don't work, and I have had some for different like cage themes and stuff. So there's some 32 ounce ones. This is a 16 ounce, another 16 ounce. Um, this goes to a glass one that I actually made. And then we have a bunch of 8 ounce ones. There's 8 ounce bottles, and we have a 4 ounce bottle right here. And then some two proof holders, some other tank holders, and a bunch of spouts. This is the one that I made that goes to the little glass one. And yeah, suction cups, holders, all that kind of stuff. So that's the water bottle collection. So the last bin that I'm going to show is the grooming and etc. bin. Um, this is just the envelope that had the name tags in it for the rabbits, and I still have it. We have this type of brush. This type of brush. We have these types of brush. We have this one, which is the Furminator, which was very expensive and probably not worth it. Um, aquarium sealant. This harness that doesn't fit any of the rabbits. A little nail file, nail clippers, cotton pads for some reason, toilet paper which I give 
uh, the gerbil for nesting when it's cold. Stretchy leash, which I never use. I don't walk my rabbits. Um, this little bow that my friend gave me for bear a long time ago. And a container of Vaseline, which I use. Um, like if they have a sore, it helps keep like bacteria out and stuff. And also when you're taking their temperature, um, you put it on the thermometer and stick it up their butt, which is fun. So anyway, that's all that's in that bin. So that's just all of the pet supplies that I have in my room. Um, I would show you what I have downstairs, but it's a complete mess and it's really boring. It's just, I have a big bin of assorted hamster toys and then I have um, like extra hay and gerbil bedding and hamster bedding and all that good stuff. So I don't really feel like it's necessary to go down there and show you the mess of my basement. Uh, one more thing, if you're wondering, if you didn't see my last video where I talked about Wallace a bit, he is actually a rescue bunny that um, was living outside and I brought him inside and now I'm working on finding a forever home for him um, because he's not going to be a good fit with my two rabbits and three is definitely a handful. So this is Wallace. You might not see him very much, but I figured I would show you him while I could. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!